Alright, so in this video, we're going to talk about mole fraction. And you will be encountering a lot of this in various subjects in chemical engineering. So, hindi nyo lang siya pag-aaralan sa chemistry, like physical chemistry, general chemistry. Pag-aaralan nyo rin siya even in chemical engineering calculations and unit operation subjects. That is why it will be very important to understand what is mole fraction and how to calculate it. This is one of the basic concept na talagang madalas ninyong gagamitin in your calculations. So first, let us explain kung ano ba tong mole fraction. The mole fraction of a component in a mixture is the fraction of all the molecules in the mixture contributed by that component. So let's say we have this gaseous mixture like this and we have several components. So for this example, let's say we have three components present. So, let's say we have component A, component B, and component C. And we learn sa ating general chemistry course how to calculate for the number of moles of our element or a compound in a particular problem. No? So, that means our component here can be expressed in terms of weight, volume, or the number of moles. But for the mole fraction, our concern is to get the number of moles of our components. So, starting with component A right here, we can say that the number of moles of component A could be represented as N sub A. And the number of moles of component B present will be represented as N sub B. And likewise, the number of moles of component C can be represented as N sub C. Okay? So, all of this represents the number of moles of our given component. Okay, so another thing that we need to determine if we want to get the mole fraction is to calculate the total number of moles present in our gaseous mixture. And that will be the sum of all the mole value of each of our components. Okay, so the N total, which represents the total number of moles of our gaseous mixture will be the sum ng lahat ng ating components, no? yung number of moles nila. So, this will be, on this example, will be the sum of the number of moles of component A plus the number of moles of component B plus the number of moles of component C. And to get the mole fraction of our components, we have to divide the number of moles of our component to the total number of moles. So, for example, the mole fraction of component A is equal to the number of moles of component A over the N total. Okay? And similarly, the mole fraction of component B is equal to the number of moles of component B over the total number of moles. And finally, the mole fraction of component C is equal to the number of moles of component C over the n total. Okay? So, ganito lang kadali ang pagkuha ng mole fraction. And we need to remember that the sum of all the mole fraction should be equal to 1 because these are all a fraction of our gaseous mixture. So, that means Xa plus Xb plus Xc should be equal to 1. Okay? So, let us apply that on this problem below. So, a gaseous mixture contains 32 grams of CO2, 20 grams of O2, and 60 grams of N2. Determine the mole fraction of each component. Okay, so sulat muna natin kung ano yung mga present na components natin. We have 32 grams of CO2. We have 20 grams of O2. And we have 60 grams of N2. And since we are looking for mole fraction, so that means we need to convert our mass of our components here into number of moles. And we already learned in our chemistry class that in order to get the number of moles ng ating compound, we have to divide it to its molecular weight. So we need to determine the molecular weight ng ating mga components. So let's start with the molecular weight of CO2. So, the atomic weight of oxygen is 16. 
So times 2, we have 32 plus 12 for carbon, which is 44 grams per mole. The molecular weight of O2 is equal to 16 times 2, which is 32 grams per mole. And then the molecular weight of our N2 is equal to 14 times 2, which is 28 grams per mole. Okay? So that means we can now determine the number of moles of our component. So starting with our CO2. So the number of moles of CO2 is equal to 32 grams of CO2 multiplied to 44 grams of CO2 for every 1 mole of CO2. Okay? So our gram mole of CO2 will be cancelled out. So we can now calculate for the number of moles of CO2. Okay, so let us use our calculator. We have 32 divided by 44. We have 0 0.727. Okay, 0 0.727 moles of CO2. Okay, so now let us calculate for the number of moles of O2. So we have 20 grams of O2. So 20 grams of O2 times its molecular weight, we have 32 grams of O2 for every 1 mole of O2. Okay, so again, maka-cancel yung ating grams of O2. So, we can now calculate for the number of moles of O2 using our calculator again. So, we have 20 divided by 32. So, we have 0 0.625. moles of O2. And then, the last one is for N2. So, the number of moles of N2 is equal to, we have 60 grams of N2. So, 60 grams of N2 multiplied to its molecular weight, which is um, for every 28 grams of N2, we have 1 mole of N2. Alright, so our grams of N2 will be cancelled out. So, now we can calculate for the number of moles of N2, which is 60 divided by 28. Okay, so we have 2.143, no? So we have 2.143 moles of N2. Okay, so katulad nung sinabi natin kanina, in order to get the mole fraction, we need to get the total number of moles, so our NT. Okay, so NT is equal to the number of moles of CO2 plus the number of moles of O2 plus the number of moles of N2. Okay, so let us calculate for our NT now. Substitute natin yung mga value natin. Number of moles of CO2 is 0 0.727 plus the number of moles of O2 which is 0 0.625 plus the number of moles of N2, 2.143. Okay, so let us calculate for our N total. Let's get our calculator again. So we have 2.143 here. It's already there. So plus 0.727, then plus 0.625. Alright, so we have 3.495, no? So we have 3.495 moles. So, this is the total number of moles in our gas mixture. Alright, so now we can determine the mole fraction of our components. Starting with the mole fraction of our CO2, which is the number of moles of CO2 over our N total. Ano? So, our number of moles of CO2 is 0 0.727 mole divided by our N total, which is 3.495. So, this will be equal to, let's have our calculator again. So, 0.727 divided by 3.495. So, we have here 0 0.208. So, 0 0.208. So, unitless yung ating mole fraction no? because we have moles and moles. In our numerator and denominator, so that will be cancelled out. 
So the mole fraction of our O2 is equal to the number of moles of O2 over n total. So number of moles ng O2 natin is 0 0.625 divided by our total number of moles which is 3.495. So let us use our calculator again. Okay, so we have 0.625 divided by 3.495. So we have 0 0.1. 179. No? So, 0.179. And finally, we should get the mole fraction of our N2, which is the number of moles of our N2 over the N total. So, number of moles ng ating N2 is 2.143. No? So, we have 2.143 divided by our N total, which is 3.495. So, again, let's use our calculator. So, we have um, 2.143 divided by 3.495. So, we have 0 0.613. Alright, so we have 0 0.613. So, we already got our answers here. The mole fraction of our CO2 is... Um, 0 0.208, the mole fraction of O2 is 0 0.179, and the mole fraction of N2 is 0 0.613. Now, we have to remember, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, that the sum of all our mole fractions should be equal to 1. Okay, so that means the mole fraction of CO2 plus the mole fraction of O2 plus the mole fraction of N2 should be equal to 1.0. Okay? So, let us check our answer kung yan, ganyan ba talaga magiging sagot natin. So, 0 0.208 0 0.208 plus 0 0.179 plus 0 0.613 should be equal to 1.0. So, i-check natin kung mag-equal ba talaga siya sa 1. Ano? So, Here's our calculator. Let's say 0 0.208, ito yon plus 0.179, then plus 0.613. And this is equal to 1, okay? So, nakita na natin yung sagot natin dito sa ating calculator. This is equal to 1. So, we have 1.0 is equal to 1.0. So, that means our answer is correct, okay? Okay, so ganun lang kadali ang pag-compute ng mole fraction. So I hope this video helps sa iyong pag-aaral. Thank you very much and have a nice day.